Hi right, Steve, ain't lost to talk about as ever. Let's uh, start with Saturday's game against Air United. You know, it was kind of like that other game in many ways. It was not the worst performance of the season, particularly the first half. Second half was obviously disappointing. Um, but you know, just another another bad day at the office at East End Park the last couple of games has not been good. Yes, yeah, it's, it, it's disappointing as you say. Um, they're, they're on it, we're on at the moment. We know that we've, we've got to turn it and, and turn it quickly. You know, we never got carried away when we went in the run. The three wins back to back in that you know seven day period, but you know they say that you learn more in defeat at times, and it's hard to take. But having looked back at the performance against Air United, you know we showed the boys clips earlier in the week. Um, we showed the positives in the performance. You know we created some really good chances, and unfortunately went by to a, you know the boy Forrest has had a shot and it's landed at the boy Moore's feet and he scores. Um, an opportunity goal. Second half wasn't good enough. You know we we can't hide behind that. I, I, I thought we panicked. We went route one, and became too predictable. And and that's something that we can work on behind the scenes. And you know we made the players feel aware as a staff. We're feel aware that that's not acceptable. And you know every day is an educational day, and it's something we'll look to put right. It's so tight the championship. Though we're still only four points away from the playoffs. However, we're only you know a few points away from the relegation playoffs as well. It's just a, a crazy league it always is and it just shows you how quickly things can turn around for a positive sense as well. Though. Yeah, no, you're right and you look at Morton I think they've won two of their last three games and they've pulled themselves right back into contention, you know, albeit they're sitting in ninth place at the moment. So that's what we know we're up against on Saturday. I think we were unfortunate in the end to lose a game down there to, to a goal late on in the game. You know, we managed to win the game here at East End a few weeks ago, so um, we've, we've definitely got the capabilities to win the game and hopefully pull us closer to the playoff positions again. And it's, I guess every game is important, but it is particularly important given where we are in the league table in relation to Morton as well. But as you've, as you've touched on, we know that we're more than capable of going to Capital. We should have got a result, all three points earlier on in the season. Um, so we know that we're capable of going there and winning. Yeah, it's just having a belief. I say that, and sometimes it's not easy in football. When you, you know you lose a few games in a row, but there's certainly none of the boys feeling sorry sorry for themselves as a staff are not feeling sorry. But you know we're part on on a run at the moment. It's not good enough to get us where we want to be, and you know we'll, we'll continue to work hard on the training ground. We'll continue to get better, and hopefully that shows on Saturday. You and Murray was also on the bench on Saturday as well, which again is a is a positive. You must be quite close to pushing for a starting place. Yeah, it's a massive plus, and you and you know, chapping the door and training properly, so um, you know he's he's getting closer to to getting to a, a starting place in the team and putting pressure on the boys. And I'm sure Ashley and Danny Devine know that. Um, Tom Lang also he missed out on the bench at the weekend just due to the way that we seen the bench and the the game going, what we needed to come on. Um, so the two of them are, are are getting another week's training under their belt, and you know they'll come in contention for the weekend as well. About injuries, then uh, Ryan Dow had a virus on Saturday, so that was the reason for for him coming off. So I'm guessing he's probably better by now. Any other injury concerns ahead of the weekend? No, Stuart Morrison. Um, Stuart has come back. He's trained properly early in the week, and you know he, he's part of the squad again. Tom Beadlin, you know, with being a hamstring injury, I'm pretty much certain that Tom will be available. To be in the squad that weekend, whether you know he, he can push for that starting place is, is a different question. Um, other than that, we should be fully fit to, to go. A few ins and outs uh, in terms of the squad this week. Obviously, the two boys from Hearts, uh, Harry Cochran and Adam McDonald, have returned, and uh, you can confirm that Josh Coley's a way back to Norwich as well. Yeah, obviously, Josh had went down. There was we had an issue with injury with Josh, but we'd just like to thank Norwich for for first of all letting us have Josh up, um, and then it didn't work out quite the way we'd hoped. Uh, he was a great kid and hopefully has a good career ahead of him. Uh, the Hearts ones, you know, we can say similar to Anthony McDonald, he was a very frustrating period for him. Um, and we've seen wee flashes towards the end of his spell there. Harry had an up and down period with us. You know, I think there were some games that he was excellent in and then other games that he didn't have as much an influence as probably he'd hoped, but um, we're thankful to Hearts and as I say, they've run their new management now and they've called them back, so we're working away behind the scenes trying to make sure that we can we can add. 
coming in the way. We had Ethan Ross, who obviously played on Saturday, got a good uh, 70 or so minutes, and uh, you know, showed in flashes that he, he could uh, provide something very positive between now and the end of the season. Yeah, but it's something we'd spoken about in the summer. Ethan's name had come up. Um, I touched base with Paul Sheeran to find out and sort of the development and what stage he was at. They felt it was right, Aberdeen, that Ethan was up there under their guidance and thankfully you know they've managed to, to put him out. I think probably a big part in that is the way we looked after Bruce Anderson last year because players talk and also clubs talk so we're thankful that we've got Ethan. He can play anywhere behind the striker, you know, out on the left in the 10 position or on the right. And um, as we've seen on Saturday, there was flashes and it wasn't all down to just Ethan's performance. You know, we never got the ball to him enough to allow him to express himself, so I'm sure he'll be a good addition to the squad. And I'm guessing with the players that are moving out, you'll be currently looking for players to replace those? Yeah, definitely. And as I say, we've, we have been working behind the scenes because you've got to cover all bases. And um, as I say, there'll be opportunities for boys that are at the club already but also to make sure that we're, we're trying to bring in some quality to, to help the squad clean the league. And finally, uh, you know, just another quick word on, on Saturday. It's uh, a game, then we go into a, a break and then we're stop-start for the next sort of month or so. So we want to be going into that wee off downtime with three points in our back pocket. Well, it does, you know, to, to go down to Capelo and if we can go down there and get a victory, you know, it stops it up, it stops this spell that we're on. And I've not seen anything from the players that we should be too worried about that they're as disappointed as anybody and if we go down there collectively we'll give, our ch give ourselves a chance to win the game, evaluate what else can happen in January and then look forward to the Dundee game.